How's it going guys? Welcome to Trade Confident. You guys want hope? You guys want hope in the market without a bunch of just emotions and personal opinions? That is what I'm going to give you guys today for Bitcoin and the market as a whole. I have multiple uh, metrics. I have, mo I have news articles. I've got uh, technical analysis. I'm going to show you guys why we are due for a move back up from historical data. I'm going to give you everything. This quite possibly will be the best video you watch all week. I know I come out with other videos. I'm even probably going to call it the best video of the week. You guys don't want to miss this whole thing. I'm not going to waste time. Let's dive into it. What I want to do is take a look at these three indicators, but I'm going to move you guys to the one hour, excuse me, the one day, one hour. Yeah, right. I don't suggest trading on the one hour time frame. Too much manipulation, um, not enough volume flowing through each candle. Okay. Look at the daily here. I want to show you guys something. This is what's called a market cycle right here. We see a, basically a bunch of sideways movement, which is consolidation, and then we see a pump up into a market cycle. This historically looks like this. We see, you know, a consolidation moves to a market cycle, and then we're in what I've been calling multiple times here, capitulation stage. Okay, watch. If you guys watch this indicator down here, so I'm going to prove this with an indicator. I'm going to prove this with news. I'm going to prove this with whales metrics. I'm going to prove this is well news. All of this, okay? There is hope in the market, okay? Watch this. This metric has been calling this almost every single time. Watch this down here, the trend exhaustion. When we start dipping down in the bottom red zone, there's two zones. There's this red zone here, and there's a bottom red zone here. I'm going to show you guys both of these. We dip down over here. What happened right after that? We saw move back up. So get this indicator and switch it to the daily time frame. I'm serious. Watch this. We move, we saw a move back up here. We Then we saw a move down over here. And what do we see? It definitely moves back up. I know we're in the beginning of a market cycle, but follow me here. We saw a little bit move back down, and then we saw a move back up when we hit to the bottom red section. And then as you move over here, we see it happen again. Okay, maybe market cycle is done and we're starting to push back down. Well, what happened to this metric down here, this indicator? We saw it move down to the red zone, and then we popped straight back up. All right, what happened again when we got here? We popped back up. What happened here when we got to the red zone? We moved back up. What happened here? We moved back up. What happened even here before we moved back down? A nice little move back up on the market. It might not visually look like much, but it's 30%. What happened over here as well? Well, we saw a bottom move here, and we saw another move back up of 30% as well. Okay, we're back here again. This is just one proof that I'm going to show you guys of why I believe there's hope in the market. This is one one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can call these multiple eight, nine, ten, but I'm going to call this eight here. The last eight times this has happened for the full market cycle of Bitcoin with this one indicator down here has called these jumps. Okay, get this on your chart. Also, the price versus the well money flow is moving down here, getting closer to the bottom, but I do expect to see this move back up. A lot of the retail traders are using the RSI, Stochastic, MACD, all these indicators. I keep, keep it on my chart to tell me what retail traders are doing. Okay. Most people are not feeling um, you know, hopeful in the market. I'm going to prove this again to you guys with some more metrics. All right, so just visually snapshot that in your mind, and let's move over to something else. Keep in mind this structure right here. I'm going to try to come back to it in a second. Let's move straight over to the metrics over here for Bitcoin, because this is very important. As you guys watch this, you guys get access to this. So it's going to update at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time in two hours. Okay emotionally, we are moving down into this anxious and fearful section. If you guys also look, so not just with that indicator I showed you, take a look at what happens when we're in fearful section here. We see a market move up. We saw a market move up. We saw a market move up. We saw a market move up. And we saw a market move up. Okay, all of the indicators, I could even pull more of these to show this to you guys with the money flow even moving back up. But we're looking for a move up here. Okay, we're also seeing that the emotional index, the emotional behavior of the market of Bitcoin historically is due for a move back up here as well. Let me come down and show you something else that's very interesting on charts. And this is what I want you guys to kind of focus on today. You guys get all these metrics at tradeconfident.io. So make sure you guys have a membership over there. Okay, it's, it's 49 bucks a month and I'll grandfather you guys in if prices ever grow up. Okay, let's get back to the metrics here. So watch this. As price structure moves down, this is literally what I've been waiting for, guys. As price structure moves down and long term trades move back up, this is a super strong sign that you're going to start seeing the price move back up. Let me prove this to you guys with more metrics here. As price moved up here and long trades moved out, this is where we saw massive drops in the market. Okay. Are you guys following that? Okay. Now, even if you come back over here, let me see if I can pull another scenario here where we see this because even we're seeing a move down there. Look at this. We see a move in structure down and let me follow this straight down. While we see long trades increasing, that can't help but go back up. It's simply just, if you guys wanna look at an order book or if you guys are just know like, I don't know if we call it the physics of trading, you can't have price structure continue to go down while long trades are increasing. Like the money flow doesn't calculate. Also another bullish sign is short trades have completely fallen out. So whales are not confident in their short trades anymore. 
I'm just telling you guys, they're not confident. I'm gonna give you more proof in this video, so keep watching, okay? Long versus short trade risk, definitely a good long trade. I'm not even gonna go over that too much, because like, duh, of course it's a good long trade. This is where I want us to pause for a second. Well in institutional smart money, I'm showing a huge spike that just went off for long trade sentiment. All right, this is where you guys need to be watching this. These metrics are incredibly accurate, and I'm gonna show you guys why this is actually more accurate, in my personal opinion, than CryptoQuant, Glassnode, and stuff like that, okay? Because I'm actually gonna show you metrics that they're pulling today. So I am showing very strongly that we are looking for a long trade sentiment in the market. Last time we saw this, we saw a nice pump in the market here. We saw this happen over here, we saw a pump. We saw it over here, and we did see a pump. We saw it over there, and we did see a pump. We are sometimes getting moves down, but I'm telling you guys, whales are buying this thing all the way down. Down, all the way down, all the way up. No, this is more like all the way down they're buying this, okay? Quickly, let me bounce through these and I'm gonna go through the breaking news today, which is gonna show you guys what the wells are doing. So with support in here, again, 30,277. Let's pull this over here. 30,000, look at this support right here. 28,000, we've already broken that, so we need to be looking at the 28,000 mark. Let's go back over here for a second. 28,000, there you go, visually on the chart. This is where we're currently pretty much sitting at the moment. Watch it for this to update here in the next few days. I'm gonna blast through this and we'll get over to the news. Dollar cost average buys. If you're looking for a metric, guys, that is like wells and institutions, I'm serious, guys, if you're watching this, here you go. If you guys, as Grayscale, or even I'm gonna cover the Rothschilds um, investments today in this video, if you guys are looking for a place to get into the bottoms of crypto moves for Bitcoin, this is the metric to have. I'm serious, I'm talking to wells, I'm talking to institutions right now, hedge funds, I've worked with you guys, here you go. Retail traders, hello, I would definitely be looking at this metric, okay? These are great places to dollar cost average in. If you guys are big wells and you have, you know, let's say one billion or, or two to five billion dollars you're looking to enter the market these are great places here 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 and here to dollar cost average all right not financial advice entertainment purposes only have to put that out there but yes i'm working with all types of investors this is very good you want to look for exits in the market guys wells institutions retail traders this is it we called the drop here we called the drop here we called the drop here we called the drop there we called the drop there we called the drop here we called the drop here we called the drop there okay this is extremely accurate metrics you guys have over at tradeconfident.io okay now let me go over to the news i was telling you guys about and let's um let's give even more hope here so watch this see this spike right here for long trades Watch this. Rothschild Investment Corp has increased its Bitcoin exposure by 300% since April. This is ridiculous. The data implies that declining prices have not phased. Declining prices have not phased executives. While Bitcoin has been maintaining a drawdown for three months after hitting its all-time highs of 64,500 May. Okay, follow this on the chart. You go back over here to May, if you get, oh, sorry, April. So April would be right here. This is basically close to the all-time high. Through this entire period, they have been accumulating Bitcoin. I've been showing this to you guys. Take a look at this chart over here that I'm pulling for the metrics. You guys see all of this long trade sentiment. Okay, buys in here, buys in here, buying the dip, buying the dip. Let me give you more proof that the wells are buying the dip. Take a look at this over here. If you guys saw this article, this is very clear. Bitcoin wells grabbing the dip as Bitcoin drops below 30,000 miners selling. Okay, before I show you this, just think with this with me for a second. We have some of the biggest families, biggest corporations, if you will, the Rothschilds and also Grayscale, they're all buying. Okay, I don't know what you guys, I'm not gonna get into conspiracy theories or anything like that, okay? But if you guys believe that the Rothschilds, you know, all these big companies are somewhat controlling the world, they have, let's call it a big influence on the world. Why are they dumping all of this money into Bitcoin. And this isn't just like, oh, they're dumping it on a news article. Like we have live on-chain metrics to show us this is what they're doing. Why are they dumping so much money into Bitcoin just to have it go down further? Now you guys are like, no, they're actually waiting for, you know, the, the price to go down to the bottom before they buy in. No, they're not. They're buying all the way down. I just showed you two days ago on, on Santiment how the whales are buying all the way down the dip. Take a look at this proof, okay? CryptoQuant, Bit, uh, Bitcoins transferred to the exchange of miners. Okay, this basically shows the, in, let me, sorry, let me read this again so you guys understand. Bitcoin wells grabbing the dip, okay? This metric is showing Bitcoin uh, wells grabbing the dip. See this influx right here? This is exactly what I've been showing you guys over here on these metrics. We're seeing this influx here. Now, CryptoQuant is great. I've had a membership to CryptoQuant. If you guys wanna access these metrics, it's $800 a year. Like, I don't know if you guys know that, but anyways, so it's like 800 bucks to access all this. I'm not trying to sell this on the chart. Like, just give me a second here. I I'm doing this to help you guys. I know this is good metrics over here, but something that this does not do, see this jump right here? 
This is not accurately calling. How are you guys gonna get out of this before it hits the top? I'm showing you guys the short trade sentiment here. We perfectly were able to call these moves because not only do we show long trades of where wells are gonna be buying, but we also show where shorts are gonna happen and we call the tops before they drop back down. I've had memberships to all these CryptoQuant, um, you know, Glassnode, um, what's another one, Santiment. I've had memberships to all of them. I coded these me these metrics in here to help me trade more prof profitably because I couldn't find it anywhere else. So again, not to, I'm not turning this into a sales video, but I'm turning this into like, guys, I don't care what you use, but this is very strong indication that we are seeing a move back up and there's hope in the market that Wells are buying this like crazy. Like, look at this spike here. So something I've been considering doing on my positions, because you guys know I'm in Ethereum and I'm in ADA. I've got about $10,000 into those trades. I am actually thinking about maybe moving my buy limits up here a little bit to maybe get snagged in around this time because I do think we could start seeing a move back up. So in conclusion, if you guys have the trend exhaustion, the money flow, and all these indicators are in the description, you guys are seeing that historically we are due for a move back up. Now, how high are we gonna go? I don't wanna come out here and put some flippant things out here to say like, oh, we're gonna go 100%, but could we get to at least structure high? Could we see a 24% move or could we at least see a 39% move? With seeing the greatest increase of Wells buying on CryptoQuant within pretty much the entire year, I, you know, I mean, this is this is this is November 2020, so 2021, the highest amount of volume. Could we actually see it pump up? The Rothschilds are buying billions of dollars in here. Could we see it pump up? I'm showing this here, and we've historically seen a pump up. I don't think it's unrealistic to see a 40% move in Bitcoin, you know, within possibly another 30 days. Okay. So I want you guys to watch that. This might be the turnaround time. Now I know this, is, this video is getting long and most of you guys don't watch this, but l let me show you something else of a reason why I believe the altcoins are going to jump before Bitcoin does and a lot faster. If you guys take a look at this simple uh, market cycle right here, where we see a move up, we move back down. We're about at a 50% retracement from the low. All right. I'm going to pull, um, I just did a video on this. I know I've got a lot of percentages on here. Uh, actually, I deleted it. That's good. So a 50% move down on the market structure would be right about here. All of these altcoins you guys are looking at are, are at such great supports. Like this is Link. If you guys go to, um, obviously Dogecoin is, is super far down here, but these have already hit past a 50% retracement. So a lot of these other coins, VeChain, let's take a look at this. They are so much lower. Like, do you guys see this? Like Bitcoin right now is sitting right here at about a 50% retracement. See the low down here? It's very obvious. Here's the low. Here's a 50% retracement from the top. Going over to, um, what was I just on, VeChain? If you guys take a top to the 50%, that's right about here. We're so much lower. This is why I'm like, guys, altcoins are like some of the greatest investments you can get into right now because they are so stinking low. ADA almost hit a freaking dollar the other day. I don't know if I can say freaking on YouTube. Hopefully I can. Um, anyways, so this is like, I'm like, I have a buy limit in here at a dollar for ADA. So these are very good places to look to buy. Now, if you guys are like, I'm, I'm diehard on Bitcoin. Awesome. That's great. Here's a lot of hope, but I believe the altcoins are going to make you guys a whole lot more money on this move back up than Bitcoin simply due to price structure because of percentage moves up are usually the same. But if you start at a lower price, you're going to make a higher percentage. It's just simple math, okay? So hopefully this video was very encouraging to you guys without emotions getting in the way and showing you strict metrics. That's what this channel is about, is strict metrics, strict volume data, strict price data. That is what you cannot manipulate, okay? The news you can manipulate, this you can't manipulate. So get ready, guys. We could be seeing a possible... 40, let's call it a 40% jump on the thumbnail, a 40% jump here within the next 30 days could be very, very likely. God bless you guys so much. I'll see you guys over at tradeconfident.io. Snag that membership. This is the best metrics to have in your pocket, guys, to help you trade more confidently. God bless you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.